Hey, Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. And today, unfortunately, we're going to do a little bit about Magic 30, where the price is, because I know I promised you guys that we would have some complete edition bundle openings on the channel, and we are going to have them. Unfortunately, it is Friday, very early in the morning, and my order was delayed by over a week because FedEx is just shit. Oh, am I 10 minutes in the video? Uh, nope, 30 seconds in the video. Get demonetized. Anyway, don't care because FedEx is probably going to be giving me crap about this if they even watch the channel. They probably don't. They don't want to hear my opinion. But it's a shit show at FedEx. I have serious issues with them. Every time they get, it ships to me, you may ask yourself, well, Captain, why would you do that? Well, when I buy, they choose how to ship, and FedEx gives them a deal. And clearly they get a deal on FedEx shipment because FedEx shipment is just trash. And I'll... Keep the cussing to a minimum. <sighs> but anyway, as you can see right here, this is the notification I finally got this morning when I got up. Um, and yes, it is early where I'm at, like real early. Uh, but as you can see, scheduled for delivery at 310 between noon and 4. Uh, coming from apparently Pennsylvania, uh, the ship date was February 28th. Um, the standard transit due date was Tuesday. Technically, it was the 6th, the first time I got my notification i won't show you that one but technically it was the sixth now it's coming on the 10th and if you didn't know um yeah the 28th was a tuesday this is a tuesday this is literally two weeks to ship a pa a one box package it's 18 pounds from the midwest to me um I don't know about you guys but i ship using uh united states postal service which has its own issues i'm not gonna lie but at least they get shit there on time sometimes. They may forget to scan it, and it may show up randomly, but they get it there. You know, people actually work. When at FedEx, I, I, I guess they're on coffee breaks all day at Starbucks. I, I don't know what they do there. Um, yeah, but anyway, so hopefully later today I'll have an actual video to put up for you guys of the complete bundles. And start a bundle series. I'll open one bundle every day for six days. I want to, oh yes, I have six bundles, boys. And girls, and literally, I think 0.02% ladies that actually watch this channel, whoever you are. Anyway, um, I have six bundles to open. Um, I might even sell some on the channel if you're if you want in on some of that action. Uh, on my boxes, I sell sealed boxes, unopened, uh, and all that stuff. Go over, hit up the Patreon, become a member, and I'll do what I can for you. Um, but hey, if you're one of the first couples in there, you know. You can do your thing. So, with that said, let's talk about Magic 30. Uh, and when I talk about Magic 30, what I mean is the actual Magic 30 sealed boxes of uh, 30th anniversary that everybody f seems to love and think of be worth so much money. So, I got some very bad news for everybody. As you can see here, as of this morning, uh, the cheapest one is $1,060. Um, there's literally been almost a 50 to 60, 70% decrease in what these are worth. Um, and some of that, I'm going to let you guys know, is because they've had notifications and, and retailers and other places are telling me they've got shipping uh, tracking that these boxes have been shipped to stores. Here's the problem. Nobody still wants them. Uh, for example, I know one store, uh, Bluegrass Magic in Kentucky, uh, I know you guys, if you guys watched the channel here we talked about before, they were going to close up shop and retire. Apparently they're getting some of this and they're running a cheap tournament and giving the box away as a prize. Uh, now, granted, they're probably going to get a lot more than a grand for it by doing it that way, but that's the right way to do it. Shout out to Bluegrass. So, uh, but also with that, you know what that means. People aren't going to pay $1,000 for this. If you bought this at $1,000, I am so sorry. Now, long term, yeah, this will be worth more than $1,000. However, at the current price people are willing to pay right now, um, I mean, with shipping and fees, you're talking to lose like 20%. Uh, you're, you spend $1,000 to buy this. You know, after you send it to someone, uh, you're going to make $800, so you lose $200. So nobody's going to really want to do that unless you get free product from Wizards of the Coast. So can this even hold up in the current market? And... This is without all of them extra boxes hitting the market yet. There's almost none of these boxes listed. So that means as more of them come out, 
they're just going to flood the market and the price is going to dip. Now, I've heard I've talked with a lot of people, and I've heard that if this gets down to around five, seven hundred range, people might jump in. Um, and I think that might be what spurred some of this stuff to make wizards with their new sets. We talked about set boxes and collector boxes at three, four hundred dollars. I think they're realizing that that's the price point people are looking for, either from talking to stores, individuals, or they're just dialing it back, uh, looking for that sweet spot, if you will, and taking it a lot slower as to not cause a giant revolt again like they had with this product. For example, you know, this was a thousand, nobody wanted it, but we know collector boxes will sell for 250, so why not bump it up to three, four hundred for some real pre what they call pre quote unquote premium products, um, and see how that goes over. And then I think we'll see it kind of etch up again, but. Long term, I still have an instinct this is going to be worth money. The problem is we're talking real long term. I mean, you guys got to realize the old ice and collector's edition cards are still out there. Uh, they have the original art with no alterations like this does. It just looks better and it plays better. You know, they're, they're, we're not going to get into it, but I just want to let you guys know where this is at so you guys don't buy into this from someone somewhere some shop somehow and just get hosed uh and you may be thinking to yourself but clyde this is showing you the cheapest one on tcg player yes yes it is but let me show you some other stuff to go along with this so this is the cheapest one notice it says here 19 listings uh at one thousand dollars now 19 listings that's let's say all two thousand that sold early or maybe even less imagine when the other 10,000 come to market. This price is gotta collapse. People aren't just gonna keep shelling out this kind of money. Um, so if you look here, you can easily see in the past month, you can see it was at 16, right? And there's a little dip there. People are like, oh no, it's not gonna happen. And oh, they're actually gonna ship stuff out, you know. Oh, they're gonna ship stuff out. Oh, price goes down, then it goes back up. People are like, oh, they're not gonna ship it out. This is a chance to buy in. Oh wait, no, they are serious. Oh wait, should I still be buying in? And then the cliff to suicide all the way down to the bottom where it just falls off and hits the floor splat. And that's where we're at right now. Um, and people just aren't buying these at more than a thousand fifty. And if you're selling them, if you bought them for a thousand selling at a thousand fifty is a guaranteed loss of profit. You're going to lose your butt. Um, so I don't know who would hell would want to even sell these at this unless they got them for free. You see where I'm going with it. Um, so yeah, here the listed median price is twelve fifty. But I'm here to tell you, no one's buying at the listed median price. They're buying at the market price. <clears throat> and here's how you know. You can see here, thousand seventy, thousand sixty, thousand fifty five. Uh, and if we go back and we look at how it's been doing, you can see here they were up to almost eleven hundred. Then we got one at a thousand, one ten, a thousand, ten twenty. 50 60 so these are starting to come to market from people who are getting them or shops who are getting them from wizards and they're just trying to offload them because it's so toxic right now it's going to take years before people don't just hate this product and that might not even fix it um so i think this is going to really be a dead money kind of product for a very long time plus the fact that for a thousand dollars you know, for a little bit more, I can just buy a beat up real mox. Like this just, it doesn't make sense to me. Matter of fact, I'm, you know, just so you guys know, I'm actually looking into purchasing reserve lift moxes and time walks. And I'm telling you right now, you know, some that are, you know, even the ones that are graded at 4.5 and 5.1, which is a very bad grade, but at least you know they're real. Um, you can get them that way slabbed. And they're going for less than a – they're going for like a grand at best, give or take. So why would I not buy a real card instead of fake proxies when I can buy the fake proxies for 10 bucks for a giant stack of them? It just doesn't make any sense. This is a terrible marketing strategy. And I don't know. You guys may not feel the same way. The only thing I really want to bring this up to you guys is I want to make sure you guys don't get abused, take advantage of, um, or, or dump a lot of money in something that's just going to basically be like highway robbery. So there it is, guys. Uh, I hope you learned something today. 
Also, cross your fingers so I can make a video later today and finally get my collect my complete bundles so I can do some complete bundle openings because I'm really itching like a crack fiend and I need to open some packs. So, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget, check out links in the description. That's where the Patreon and everything is. You want to get on some box buys and so forth from me directly. Outside Amazon, shipped to you at a good price. Uh, you want to know what that price is? Feel free to talk to me. We'll have a conversation. Um, so, with that said, until next time, be kind. And as always, I hope to see you across from the game table, player. God, I hope my bundles come in. Jesus, I'll kick Fedetch in the crotch. <laughs>